Special thanks to Savitar Tennis Center, the Swiss hotel in Singapore, for the opportunity to record this video at their courts. Breathing, so important for tennis and so very few times mentioned. Breathing is very important for tennis for two reasons. One, you don't run out of air, so you don't run out of oxygen. And two, you are helping your body relax through the shot. So if you don't breathe when you hit the ball, you're going to hold the air, like hold it in your stomach. And that holding that tension is going to transfer to your body, to your arm, and the stroke will not flow. It will not go as smoothly, as fluidly as it could. So the first thing I want to point out when it comes to breathing is that try and exhale when you hit the ball. Now a good way to practice that is that you start a little bit early. So you don't exhale exactly when you hit, but you want to start a little bit earlier. So you, you go something like this. So as soon as you feel that you're starting your swing forward, start exhaling and that will also smoothen your stroke. There won't be any jerky movements. You're gonna go. So that goes for all your ground strokes and for the surf volley is usually a little bit shorter. So there's not such a long breath, but for your ground strokes and your surf, start early before you make contact and keep exhaling. And the inhale usually just happens by itself, but we're gonna add part two for breathing between shots. Here's an example of breathing while serving. So I'll just exaggerate a little bit so you can hear me better. So one more. Okay, so this is how I usually breathe, just not so loud. It's, it's, it's more quiet. So if I do it as I would do it, it would be something like this. Okay, and uh, what oftentimes happens with players, especially when you want to hit the ball hard, you're thinking more like this, or you're breathing more like this. So how you're thinking is then reflected in your breath. So you're doing like this. Okay, so at the moment of contact, you're contracting and you're holding your breath. And by holding your breath, you're unconsciously actually holding your arm. So you might feel strong, but for the serve, we don't need to be strong. We need to be fast. So think about, you know, releasing, letting go, throwing. So uh, breathing in this way helps you achieve that with your arm. So again, so not too jerky breath, long extended breath, and just feel like that you're letting go through the ball. good second part of breathing is breathing in the rally and I oftentimes also see that when players rally they stop breathing and again maybe there's just too much attention to the other side we're like this we're looking and whenever we observe something with full attention we hold our breath and so we need to learn to keep going so I try to demonstrate now that even though I'm running, I hope that you heard that I'm still breathing while the rally is going. So not only on the hitting on the exhale, but also as the rally is going on, I'm still trying to breathe and get oxygen. And you will have to practice this for a while very deliberately because our instinct doesn't tell us so. So we are in a, you know, tense situation. We want to win the point or even just hitting the ball. The ball is coming over very fast. It's bouncing and we put our full attention to the ball and we oftentimes stop our breathing. And so it will just happen and you will have to be conscious of it for a while and practice breathing, you know, consciously. Keep awareness of your breath and keep hitting the ball and see if you're breathing normally as if you're jogging. So a good comparison is when you go jogging and you're just running and you can feel that, you know, your breathing just comes into a certain rhythm in the same way, the breathing must just happen normally because basically what you're doing, you're just 
running a couple of steps left right and then returning and you're doing one stroke but basically you're just running a little bit so I'm running now I'm running this way now I'm running this way now I'm running this way so it's basically just a little bit of the running and you just have to maintain your breathing The third part of breathing is the recovery breathing. So this is another part I don't see being done really well. So I'm just gonna do it now. So just stay with me for a while. So this is the process I would go through after each point, especially if it's a long point. So I'm just facing the camera now, but I would probably, you know, walk around. I have 25 seconds, so. The first part after the point would always be recovery. So I see oftentimes players, you know, they either stay too long with the previous point mentally. What happened? What did I do? What should I do? or move, move in the future, what should I do in the next point, and so on, or, or get very irritated, and so on, and when you're in that state, you're like, oh, and this, and then I didn't play, and, and you can hear my breath, right? It's very short. And so I'm not resupplying my body with oxygen, and then I will not have enough oxygen for the next point. And so eventually I'm going to run out of breath, and I'll just get tired much sooner than if I kept breathing and resupplying myself with oxygen. And so keep in mind that after each point or after each longer rally, take your time to recover. So just focus on breathing, get some oxygen in, you're out of breath. Your body knows what to do if you just, you know, give it time and give attention to it. So, okay, I've just played the point and now I'm, I feel I'm out of breath. So first thing is, you know, get your oxygen back. And then it will take you five to 10 seconds, depending on how long the rally was and then you can move on to preparing for the next point you know either just focusing or like clearing your mind of everything or just reminding yourself what is your main strategy and then going on so in summary breathing is very important for tennis one when we're hitting the stroke it helps us be more relaxed through the stroke two when we're breathing during the stroke and during the rally we are resupplying ourselves with oxygen so that we can maintain a longer rally and not get tired so quickly. And then three, after a point or after a rally, take some time to recover, just get some air in and then move on to the next point.